The pre-installation verification test is required by RCSC and AISC specifications. This test must be conducted on-site to ensure that all bolting assemblies, lubrication, tools, and installation methods can achieve minimum bolt tension prior to installation. Pre-installation verification testing verifies that the installation method and your bolting assemblies can achieve proper bolt tension. For the bolting assemblies to pass this test, the results must meet 105% or more of the minimum required bolt pretension. Today, we'll be testing a 2 and 3 quarter inch A325 bolt, an A563DH nut, and an F436 Type 3 3 quarter inch washer and we will be using the turn of nut installation procedure. To perform the pre-installation verification test, ensure you have a properly calibrated Skidmore Wilhelm device, also called a bolt tension measuring device. These are available as a mobile unit designed to use in the field. Be sure it is properly certified and calibrated within the previous 12 months to meet AISC guidelines. Also be sure to have the correct plates for your bolt. Gather three bolt assemblies for each length, diameter, grade, and lot. Place the bushing for the hex bolt onto the device. Then put the bolting assembly, including nut and washer, in place. For this assembly, we are adding one spacer washer behind the test washer to allow for proper nut engagement with the bolt. For bolts that are different lengths, refer to the RCSC guidelines regarding stacking washers and bolt stickout. Once the bolt is in a snug tight position, we will mark the nut and the socket in line with a starting position mark on the machine in order to track the amount of rotation or angle that is applied to the nut. Due to the variety of bolt sizes, refer to the RCSC or the AISC for the minimum bolt pretension. Then, continue to tighten the bolt with your non-impacting wrench to the appropriate turn angle based on the ratio of the bolt diameter to its length, which is found in Table 8.2 of the RCSC Structural Handbook. Repeat this test two more times and record results. If the bolts fail to meet or exceed 105% of the minimum required bolt pretension, first check your tools, plates, spacers, and the calibration date of the tension measuring device and try again with three new bolts. There are a few common reasons bolting assemblies fail the pre-installation verification test. The most common problem is lubrication. Lubrication helps reduce the friction and the amount of torque or force required to turn the nut. Reducing the friction allows for the bolt and nut to work together to achieve correct tension. Additional lubrication, like stick wax, is only acceptable for hex bolt assemblies. If a hex assembly first fails the pre-installation verification test, you may apply a wax lubricant and test again. For tension control bolts, the addition of any lubricant is prohibited by any individual except for the original manufacturer. Another common problem resulting in failure is using the incorrect plate or bushing. Be sure you have the correct size plate and bushings installed. The plate or bushing can become warped over time, so it's equally important to inspect the items before use. For more information about all kinds of fasteners, visit behamfast.com.